Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is my trusted Galaxy S20 FE 5G. First of all, tell me how does it look like? Spend some time customizing the hell out of it using good luck modules. Looking pretty sweet, right? Anyways, this video is not about customization, but about an awesome application that will let you use 120Hz refresh rate when using power saving mode. Power saving mode on Samsung phones is very, very good. It increases battery life by a lot. Check out the screen on times that I get when using power saving mode easily over 7 hours of screen on time. I am mostly on Wi-Fi and mobile data will obviously drain more battery but regardless this is very good battery life. Not only is power saving mode great for increasing battery life, it also greatly reduces overall heat output without sacrificing performance. Check out these CPU thermal throttling benchmarks. These are 30 minute tests done under 34 degrees centigrade ambient temperature which is very intense. When using power saving mode, we are actually getting better sustained performance versus regular mode. And the difference will be bigger if I would continue doing the test for a longer duration. Using power saving mode simply makes the phone much cooler in general, whether you are using it for social media, shooting videos, or while playing games. So the power saving mode has a lot of benefits, but one compromise that you have to make is to sacrifice the 120Hz refresh rate in favor of 60Hz which for me is totally fine because I personally don't mind 60Hz on phones. However, some people may not want to make that compromise. Enter Galaxy Max Hertz, an open source application developed by XDA senior member Tribulfs. The source code is available on GitHub if you want to check it out and develop further. This application will let you use 120Hz refresh rate while you are in power saving mode. Not only that, you will also be able to use adaptive refresh rate, which means as soon as you stop touching the phone, it will drop the refresh rate to 60Hz, which will save even more power. So for example, if you watch a lot of YouTube videos or movies, 120Hz is really a waste as videos are mostly in 24 or 30 FPS. So the phone is wasting a lot of power by refreshing the screen 120 times per second. However, the adaptive mode is only available in the premium version of this application. In my control test where I played the same YouTube video at the same brightness level on the same Wi-Fi network, I found a 29% difference in battery drain per minute between adaptive refresh rate versus regular 120Hz mode. So now let me show you how you can install the application and enable 120Hz in power saving mode to get great battery life, lower heat, better sustained performance all without sacrificing high refresh rate. Let's get going. So first of all, open the GitHub link down in the description and download the latest version of the application and install it. After opening the application, you will find that most of the settings are disabled. We have to give the application right permissions using ADB tool from your computer. So open the second link from the description on your computer and follow the steps. First enable developer settings in your phone by clicking on the build number multiple times and entering your pin. Then go into the developer options and enable USB debugging. Next download ADB platform tools in your computer and unzip the content to a folder. Then enter the folder and hold shift and right click in the folder to open PowerShell window. It should show the folder directory in the command line. Now connect your phone to the laptop and you should get a prompt like this to grant ADB permission. Go ahead and grant permission. If you don't get the prompt, try to install the Samsung USB drivers and try again. Next, to make sure that ADB recognizes your connected device, type ADB devices and it should show your device ID. And you may get the same ADB prompt on your device again, so grant permission. Next, all you have to do is to copy and paste this command and press enter, which is basically granting Galaxy Max Hertz application write permission. And you are done. Now here you can see I am in regular 120Hz mode and then I'm going to open the Galaxy Max Hertz app again and select high mode and you can see it shows power saving mode 
to be in 120 hertz but when i enable power saving mode the refresh rate drops back to 60 hertz so the way to solve this is to select high refresh rate again in the galaxy max hertz application and then open your samsung dialer and make a dummy video call so here i'm making a video call and then ending the call immediately and you can see that has enabled 120 hertz while i am in power saving mode you can see the power saver icon on the status bar and the phone is clearly running in 120 hertz mode and you can easily feel it i used the phone this way for a day and i was able to get 7 hours and 40 minutes of screen on time that's about one hour more than regular 120 hertz mode plus the heating was much less it was much less warm compared to the regular 120 hertz mode so that's it an amazing hack that will work on s20 series s21 series and beyond the benefits of power saver mode with the smoothness of 120 hertz incredible so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching please hit the like button if you find yourself using this and please subscribe if you are new to the channel that's all guys take care and i'll catch you in the next one peace